All right, so as uh, you guys are well aware of, I have kind of got frustrated after about 10 hours worth of work on uh, the zero pose of the character. Uh, maybe I'm just lazy, I don't know, but uh, I decided to kind of stop working for a while, take a breather, and try to come up with my own plugin that would pretty much make things easier for me uh, in terms of not having to constantly look at the template and uh, have to refer to the names or check out the uh, um, check out the um, the uh, Excel sheet and all that other stuff so having to go back and forth looking at all this stuff what's the thing copy it uh, or go in here and replace it which is a, still a good method but I mean this is not the type of characters that I'm building so what I decided to do was go back to the drawing board a little bit and uh, just kind of make myself a little tool that would make things easier for me. And here it is. It's not complete yet, <coughs> where, but it is at a point where it's uh, mostly uh, usable. And uh, the only thing that it doesn't have yet is the bone system, the ability to add the pivot points. But uh, I'm going to try to get that taken care of this weekend. And hopefully once that's done, I'll be able to literally create these type of characters in a couple of hours rather than, <laughs> you know, an entire day or more. Um, okay, so let me go back to um, one of these uh, um, drawing sheets that I have here. And um, I'm going to close this. And you can see that it is a full-fledged plugin inside of Flash. You go to the extensions uh, area, click on Model Maker for CTA 2 and it will launch and basically the idea is that as you draw your character or the different pieces of your character you know uh, you look at the angle that you're drawing or that you're creating and uh, you can switch to that angle so in this case it's the front so that's my nose or actually that's my mouth shape then I'll select the uh, Let's see here, this is the head. So I'll click on the head. It tells me that face zero has been set. This will be the left eye. And notice I made myself little reminders here because his left is my right and my right is his left, that sort of thing. Maybe later on I'll be uh, I'll create a much better representation of what you're looking at so you just click on what you're seeing. So this is gonna be my left eye. Click on that, click on that. Then we go to the arm, click, 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 boom, boom. And hopefully, once this is done, uh, I'll be able to apply the bones or create the bone system in a way that it just applies it uh, as you're doing this stuff or something. I'll come up with something. But uh, you can see that, okay, for example, this is the upper torso. It doesn't have an instance name. Oh, I just gotta click it and there we go so here's my <coughs> right upper thigh the shank the foot that 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 and uh, that pretty much takes care of all the major parts this character does not have front hair but I did uh, basically set up a little blank clip because I don't know what the <coughs> what crazy talk animator will do if you leave it out but uh, but you know basically what I'm doing is uh, you know you can put a little guide layer there so that when it actually gets imported into um, crazy talk well the thing is still imported but um, there's nothing there to see so <coughs> so anyways there's my hair that's my front hair I don't have eyebrows otherwise I would just click them there and I could just go all throughout the whole entire process just the back hair click on that and uh, basically I have all my instance names uh, nicely set up <coughs> I didn't waste any time looking up the definitions in the Excel sheet I didn't waste any time uh, going back and forth into the uh, FLA file the template and I didn't have to go in there and have to do the replacement method. 
okay um which uh you know for a lot of artists having to replace something and make it fit is probably a lot more difficult than it is to um <coughs> than it is basically to create the model the way you want it so i'm gonna create a new file real quick and this is going to be for my 45 degree angle and I'm just going to create a basic character with uh, pretty much all the elements okay this is going to be my face there's one eye there's the other eye eyebrow mouth okay now here's the thing <coughs> you don't actually have to convert everything into a symbol first I made sure that if something is not already a symbol that it basically tells you hey you know what I'm about to convert this thing into a symbol are you sure you want to do that Okay, so, and the reason I did that was because sometimes you might select more than one. So if I select uh, just the eye, for example, I'm converting it to the 45 degree angle eye. It tells me the selected item will be converted into a symbol first. If this is not what you wanted, then obviously, you know, press Control Z to undo it. But it has been converted into a symbol. And now I can place it on the face. I can do the same thing with the other eye. <coughs> There's an eyebrow. There's another eyebrow. Boom. So as I'm drawing, I could just basically draw my stuff in real time and automatically start customizing it and making it feasible to use inside of crazy talk I think this is gonna be a nice little useful tool for everybody else aside from myself I obviously did it because I got frustrated um, building this thing and um, <coughs> I don't think the uh, workflow of uh, replacing the models inside of the flaw file or the FLA file is gonna be the method that's right for me so because of the way I work, I like to do everything a little bit more in real time and not be distracted by any technical stuff. Um, I'm just going to do the face. Uh, I think you guys get the idea. And um, again, if you have any um, feature requests, uh, you see here that I may be able to include before I do the official release. Let me know. Okay. So basically the next step is I want to be able to take the eye, double click in there, and set up all the eye elements. So I'll need to have another section here that'll actually deep in, go in deep in there uh, and allow me to just place all the different eye shapes and stuff on there uh, to do the same thing with the mouth. So once I'm on the side of the mouth, add different mouth actions in there. So, you know, basically just do it nice and neatly. And uh, I mean, I've put in a bunch of, I've put in a lot of work into this thing so far. Uh, for example, if I have two items selected, uh, it actually doesn't do anything uh, because, you know, it checks. Uh, it makes sure that it doesn't ruin what you already worked on. So this uh, right eye is still the right eye the left eye is still the left eye this even though I accidentally may have clicked on something so that's not gonna happen now this uh, facial shape here is not done so let's uh, pick a color any color okay notice if I select everything I'll try to do something with it nothing happens so it it, the, it has a lot of checks and balances in there uh, based on the way that I was working uh, to keep you from committing like certain mistakes or technical errors. So I have my face selected. 
Okay, so now that's a, that's a face. And of course, using flashes, regular stuff, I can, you know, realign it in there. Okay, so I have a complete character head so far, uh, except for the front hair and the back hair, which I can still do, but I'm not going to at this point because I think you do get the idea. And of course, if uh, I don't know if Crazy Talk Animator requires every element to be in its own individual timeline uh, or layer. Uh, I've experimented with it. It doesn't seem to be a big deal, but in if in case it does require it, you can always right click everything, select um, distribute to layers, and every layer gets created with a single item inside of it and it has the proper name based on the name that was on the on the system there on the on the device on the shape so there you go um, again you know if you have any suggestions ideas things that you know you think that you might need in your workflow uh, obviously I'm designing this for myself so when I design stuff for myself I base it I basically base it strictly for my own workflow and um, <coughs> oh yeah sometimes you might mess up and you know just get totally out of whack you know you might have gone into a completely different uh, angle and uh, created um, you know apply shape for something that didn't even belong there so here I have a right forearm there I have a right eye a mouth uh, a right brow um, and so I, I got I got it all mixed and matched so if, if you ever mess up like severely and stuff you can always just select everything use this little eraser tool and it just clears everything up so that you can kind of start fresh and uh, there you go nice and I think it's very useful it's not very clicky I try to get rid of all the technical stuff so it's ba basically you know as visual as possible and uh, the least amount of technical um, doohickeys involved the better as far as I'm concerned all right, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. Uh, also, if you have any suggestions, uh, send them my way. Uh, my email address is ibis at toontitan.com. Um, but feel free to also you know, follow up on the forum, which is where I'm posting this thing. Um, all right, thank you for watching.